uh, the setup, I want to figure out this depth h. To do that, I'm going to be a little sneaky, and I'm going to say that this distance from here to here we'll call x, which means the distance from here to here is 150 minus x. Thus, looking at this right angle triangle over here, I see that sine of 60 is equal to, actually I don't want sine, I'm going to do tan, sorry. Tan of 60 will be equal to h over x. In other words, sort of cross multiplying twice here, x will equal to h over tan 60. And now I'm going to do here tan of 54. So that's, that's just one equation over here. Tan of 54 is this triangle here will be h over 150 minus x. But remember, I'm solving for h, so I don't want x's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x here and sub it in over here. So I get h over 150 minus, now x is h over 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply, because this side is equal to tan of 54. I will end up with cross multiplying tan of 54 times 150 minus tan of 54, because there's two parts here, times h over 60, over tan 60, sorry. And that's going to equal to h. So what I see here is I actually have two h's here. So I'll bring this term over to the other side, which gives me tan 54 times 150 will be equal to, now I have h, and this comes over here, plus tan 54 over tan 60 times h. In other words, h times 1 plus tan 54 over tan 60. So therefore, I can calculate now that h, a little complicated here, but h will be equal to the, this side over here, tan 54 times 150, all over this part inside here. So 1 plus tan 54 over tan 60. Now be very careful when you plug this in your calculator, but when you do, you get that tan or h will be roughly equal to 115 meters deep.